Namaste yogis, welcome to my Cannabis Enhanced Yoga video. My name is Manali. Thank you for sharing your practice with me this morning. Today's class is going to be a slow burn, so challenging poses, but also a little bit feel good. So we're leaving those challenging poses with some nice, you know, much deserved stretches. So what I'm going to be using today is a blanket and a strap. If you don't have a strap specifically, you can use a belt, you can use a, um, a little rope drawstring thingy and that will be that will serve its purpose and then some blocks or anything steady that you can rest your hands on and feel supported books are good like like a good thick book or a couple stacks of books or you know of course blocks so our first little shape is going to be easy pose to cast in the pose grab your blanket fold it up and sit on the very edge of it so that your hips can have a little tilt forward, your knees can come forward, and then the fronts of your hip creases can have a little bit more space too. If this doesn't feel very high, you can sit on top of a block or a bolster and actually flip the feet. So maybe this feels a little bit more awkward. Now you can bring your fingertips to the earth by your sides, wherever feels good that you're not holding yourself up. Close the windows of your eyes. Take a nice little breath in through the nose. Let your shoulders come to your ears. Then open the mouth, let it go. <sighs> Release the shoulders down. Just getting grounded into your body, noticing how it feels to be here right now, on this day, at this time. If you chose to consume some cannabis beforehand, Maybe you're checking out how it's feeling at the moment. With this flow, you can have consumed sativa, indica, doesn't really matter as long as you feel energized and in your body. Feeling supported by the earth underneath your fingertips, underneath your hips. Let the knees relax. Start to deepen your exhales. Lengthen your inhales. Starting to cultivate that pace, that space of inner peace. There we go. Seeing if you can make your inhales last the same amount of time as your exhales. Maybe coming into Ujjayi Pranayama, victorious breath, gently scraping the breath against the back of your throat as you inhale and exhale. So your breath becomes audible. So as you inhale, it's almost as if you're gonna yawn, but your mouth stays closed. And as you exhale, it's as if you're trying to fog up a window or make a ha sound, but your mouth stays closed. If you're new to this breath, it might feel a little bit awkward, but give it a try. Otherwise, just commit to your intentional deep breath. We'll do four more rounds here. Inhale one. Exhale one. Inhale two, exhale two, inhale three, exhale three, inhale four, and exhale four. Slowly blink the eyes open and shift forward. We're gonna take a toe squat in pose. 
So just sit on your heels. You can go ahead and move that blanket off to the side. You're gonna sit on your heels, curl your toes underneath you and maybe help those little baby toes get in underneath there too. And if this feels like too much, you can always just come to standing on your knees. You can bring your blanket underneath your knees, whatever feels good. So if you feel like you're 100% in the shape, dial it back. Find yourself 80% or 70% in the shape and then leave the remainder for your breath and for anything else to come up. And then your hands can rest wherever they naturally want to. Close the windows of your eyes, direct your awareness to your breath, even if it's just to distract from the sensation in the feet and ankles. Inhale, fill up the belly, the chest, hold the breath at the top. And exhale to the chest, down to the belly, hold it at the bottom. slowly release the shape on your next inhale come to your hands and knees you can roll out the ankles do whatever feels good here maybe even bring the tops of the feet to the floor just find whatever nuance movement feels good and then we're going to come down onto our backs grab that strap you have our practice is gonna work on opening up the legs so we're just gonna warm up through the legs with some poses before we work our way up. So grab your strap, bring it to the ball of your right foot and then lay down. Send your right leg up to the sky. That left knee can stay bent with your foot nice and secure to the floor. So hold onto your strap in a way that your elbows can hang out on the floor or relatively next to the floor. This strap is doing the work to hold your foot up and keep the heel flexed without you really having to work your right leg too much. You can always have a little bend in that right knee. Relax your shoulders and arch the lower back a little bit that will deepen the sensation in your right calf. That's optional. If you feel good in the place before that, just hang out there. big breath here. If this feels intense, that's normal. We're stretching some of the biggest muscles in the legs. And as you exhale, slowly bend that knee, release your leg to the floor, maybe roll it out, shake it out, do whatever feels good. And then we can go over to the other side. So bend that right knee, left foot up to the sky. Notice which side is a little bit tighter than the other. There's always one side and then hold onto the strap, elbows low, flex the foot so the heel reaches up to the sky, toes point towards you. And come back to your breath. The whole point of that breath is to find that peace, even in the midst of intensity, the breath remains the same. And it gives Direct feedback, if you notice that the breath is disappearing, that, that means that you might have taken yourself a little bit too far in the shape. And you can just back out. And that's why I like to combine my practice with cannabis because that line becomes a little bit more apparent for me and I'm a little bit more willing to listen to it. My practice is less competitive about, you know, just pushing through pain. It becomes more about listening. Let's take one more big breath here. And exhale, slowly bend that knee, release it down. You can shake out the leg, do whatever feels good here. And then plant your feet on the earth. 
draw your navel all the way down to your spine feel how your lower back anchors down onto the floor we're gonna do some core awakening surprise so i said this was slow burn so we're gonna get into it here bring your knees over your hips and your shins parallel to the floor so your knees and thighs are squeezing in towards each other keep that belly engagement that you just had when the feet were on the floor imagine you're squeezing a block in between your knees and then bring your hands onto your thighs close to you let your shoulders plug into the mat and as you try and press your thighs away from you bring your knees in towards you so don't be afraid to feel uncomfortable here Breathe into any sensation. Feel your lower abdominals lift up to meet your upper abdominals. And here for three more breaths. On your next breath, slowly bring the knees to the chest. Take whatever movement feels good here. Circling the knees. Take a nice big inhale through the nose. And open the mouth, let it go. And then bring your knees over your hips again. Shins parallel to the floor. And on your inhale, reach your arms overhead and start to straighten your legs a tiny bit. Let the lower back stay on the floor. So if the lower back comes up when the knees are here, that's fine, stay there. Big inhale. Exhale, bring your knees to the chest, hug your shins, get super small. Inhale, open up, arms overhead, straighten the legs, move slowly. Then exhale, knees to the nose and wrap the shins. Inhale, open up. Don't be afraid to shake. Find your edge. You're in control. Then exhale, knees to the chest. One more time on your own breath. Nice. End with the knees and the chest. Maybe take a version of modified happy baby, just letting the knees come wide towards each shoulder. It's a nice little stretch for the belly. Then grab the backs of your thighs. Rock up and down your spine a couple of times. Just to massage your hips all the way up to your shoulders. And then eventually come all the way through to tabletop pose so take your time roll onto your hands and knees your knees can come on a blanket if the knees are feeling sore knees underneath the hips and your wrists underneath your shoulders spread those fingertips apart let's take a couple rounds of cat cow here inhale to drop the belly round the shoulders back gaze up at the sky exhale to cat round the spine push the floor away Inhale, cow, drop the belly round the shoulders, back gaze up. And exhale, navel to spine, cat pose. Inhale, cow, drop the belly, gaze up. And exhale, cat, navel to spine. Two more times. Feel free to circle the hips. Do whatever other feel good movement comes up. Doesn't have to be a yoga pose. This is about slowing down as well and noticing what movement and sensation feels good in your body. One more exhale around the spine. Then inhale, neutral spine, tabletop pose. Walk your hands about one palm print forward, maybe half a palm print. Curl the toes round your spine like cat pose and lift the knees just an inch off of the floor. And these pants, you can't tell that my knees are off the floor, but they're off the floor. Gaze back round your spine like cat pose. Draw the navel all the way in. 
Wrap your inner thighs in towards each other. Breathe into sensation rather than getting super tense around it. Find the home in your breath. One more big inhale. And then exhale to downward facing dog. Straighten the legs. Maybe walk the feet in or out, whatever feels good. And do all those first downward facing dog things you like to do. Bend and straighten the legs. Pedal out your heels. Lengthen through the sides of your neck. And you want to work more on the spine than the legs. So you can bend those knees a lot press your chest towards your thighs. Some alternatives, if downward facing dog isn't working today, take tabletop pose and hang out in your cat cow tilts. You know, some days you just need to slow down. Otherwise you're here in downward facing dog. Slow down the breath. Send your shoulders away from your ears. This is difficult, but inhale, remind yourself you can do this. And exhale, I can do this. Inhale, bend your knees a lot. Gaze up in between the hands. And then exhale, one step or walk or hop to the top of your mat. Come to a forward fold, feet or hip distance. Drape your heart over your thighs and you can let the fingertips dangle or hug your elbows. Just bringing some extra weight to your torso, shaking the head out, no. Nodding the head, yes. Release your fingertips down and inhale. Come up one bone at a time. So the head, neck and shoulders come up last. Just peeling yourself up. Coming to mountain pose, palms face by your sides, relax your shoulders, and your feet are hip distance apart. Just finding your balance here. And as you inhale, reach your hands overhead and come onto your tippy toes, super slow. And as you exhale, lower the hands and heels at the same time. So super slow. Inhale, come onto your toes, reach the hands overhead. Exhale, lower the heels and hands. One more time. Inhale, open up, come high onto the toes. And exhale, lower down. This time, just inhale, sweep the hands over. Hold onto your right wrist. Exhale, lean over to the left, but look over to the right. Inhale, come up, switch sides, hold on to your left wrist. Exhale, lean over to the right, but look left. Inhale, back to center, hold on to the right wrist. Exhale, lean left, look right. Inhale, come up, hold on to the left wrist. Exhale, lean right, look left. Inhale, come up, reach both hands up to the sky and exhale, forward fold. Let your belly rest on top of your thighs and you can bend your knees as much as you need to let that happen, fingertips to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to the shins. Create some space between your navel and your sternum. Come up with a nice flat back. And exhale, hands to the floor. Let's step the left foot back, modified crescent pose. Your right foot is in between the palms, let your left knee lower to the floor or a blanket. Interlace your fingers behind your back. It's the version we're taking a little bit more of a shoulder opener. So interlace the fingers, draw the fists to the earth and let your knee come right over that ankle. Release your shoulders back. Imagine you have a little zipper plugging your belly button all the way in. We tend to let everything spill forward, but try and contain that space. Gaze up at the sky. Inhale, one. Exhale, one. Inhale, two. Exhale, release the fingertips to the floor and step back to plank pose. So spread your fingertips nice and wide, top of a push-up. Step that right foot back. You're welcome to bring your knees onto the earth just slightly further back from the hips. 
Let's see whatever works for you. If the thighs are lifted, lift them way up to the skies if the legs are doing the work. Big inhale. Then exhale, lower down, knees, chin, chest to the floor. Take your time lowering all the way to the ground. Uncurl your toes. Hug the elbows in. And come up to cobra pose. Firm into your feet, a little gentle back bend. Gaze relatively low. Then exhale, forehead to the floor. Inhaling to cobra pose, lift your heart up. Hug the elbows in. Then exhale, lower down. One more time. Inhale, come up to your deepest cobra. Maybe you come up to upward facing dog, floating the thighs, letting the shoulders release from the ears, gazing forward. Then exhale to downward facing dog or tabletop pose onto your hands and knees. Nice big inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, let it go. Nice inhale. Bring that left foot up slightly. Three-legged dog. Exhale, step that left foot in between the palms. You might need to wiggle it up there. Setting up for modified crescent, right knee down to the floor. And again, interlace those fingers behind your head, or behind your back. Drawing the fists to the floor. At this point, feeling that warmth start to build up. Noticing that narrative, that kind of comes with it. Remind yourself that the attitude you bring in your practice is gonna affect the way that you feel in these shapes. So inhale, I can do this. Exhale, I can do this. One more big breath here. And exhale, release the hands to the floor. Pick up your right knee, come to standing splits. So bring all of your weight into that front leg and just lift that right heel up. You can bring your hands on blocks too. Just be here for one breath. Gaze at your right toes, big inhale. Exhale, step that right foot up to meet your left. And we'll come to a squat. So bring your feet as wide as the mat, heels and toes out. Your squat can be relatively high, especially if you want to support your lower back a little bit more. Then the knees and elbows meet. Otherwise, you can come to your malasana pose, elbows to the knees, and maybe bring a block underneath your hips. You can also bring a folded blanket underneath the heels if the feet don't quite meet the floor, which happens a lot of the time. We'll just take three breaths here, so feel free to sway side to side. Almost fell out of my shape. That happens sometimes, I just smoked. So sway side to side. Find some movement that feels good. This is also a good smoking break section too, if it feels appropriate. And then let's slowly come all the way back to a bent knee, downward facing dog, hands on the floor. Gently step back, bend the knees a lot. Notice the difference in the hips, hopefully feeling a little bit more open. We hold a lot of tension in the hips, especially if you spend a lot of time sitting. This could feel hard, but necessary. So from downward facing dog, take a couple of breaths here. Or you can come down to child's pose. So nice, anywhere that feels restful that you can reconnect with your breath. And then inhale, bend the knees, gaze up in between the hands. Exhale, walk, step or hop to the top of your mat, coming to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, come up with a nice flat back. Then exhale, fold over. Bend the knees, inhale, spread the hands wide as you come up. The navel drawing to the spine helps here too. Protect your lower back, palms touch. Then exhale, thumbs to the heart. Resetting here, relaxing the shoulders, feeling how your body feels to move a little bit to build up some heat. And inhale, sweep the hands up overhead again. We'll do that flow 
One more time. Exhale, forward fold. Fingertips to the earth, belly to the thighs. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to the shins. Create some space in between each vertebrae. Exhale, hands to the floor. Let's step the right foot back to modified crescent. Right knee down to the floor. Again, interlace the fingers behind your back. If this is feeling like really tight on your shoulders, you can also bring a strap in between the hands as well. That can be really nice just to let the shoulders open up a little bit gently or more gently. Inhale one. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale, release the hands to the floor, making your way to plank pose or modified plank, everyone's favorite shape. Find yourself super strong here. Round through your upper back. So you're getting that bucket out of your shoulders. Reach back in the heels if the knees are lifted. Big inhale. Exhale, slowly lower to the floor, floor knees, chin, and chest. Come down like a little snake. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog if the spine is feeling ready for it. Usually upward facing dog, we want to gaze up at the sky, but let your gaze be neutral, protect that neck. Exhale to downward facing dog or child's pose. Just one breath here. This time, inhale, reach the right heel up. Doesn't have to come up very far. Then exhale, step it in between the hands, modified crescent pose. Bring your left knee down to the floor. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Draw the fist to the earth, lift your heart up to the sky. And then exhale, release your hands to the floor or blocks, making your way to standing splits. Pick up your back knee, slowly float up gaze at your left toes and then step that left foot up to malasana pose feet wide heels in toes out and again you can be relatively high to see what feels good water break smoke break make this pretty deep hip opener feel a little bit better And then when you're ready, shift back to downward facing dog with bent knees. Inhale here. Then exhale down to child's pose. Knees as wide as feels good, maybe as wide as the mat, big toes together. And then let your forehead relax to the earth. child's pose is the shape of surrender so really let go of effort here reconnect with your breath see if you're you're controlling your breath or whether your breath is controlling you notice how the cannabis is showing up in your body now that we've been moving for a while. So inhale, come up nice and slow and stay on your hands and knees. This might be a place where you'll need the blanket underneath the knees if you needed it before. Send your right toes back. So you're spreading your fingertips apart, almost as if you're in a, in a half plank pose. Send those right toes back, then inhale, lift your heel up to the sky. It doesn't have to be super high, but in line with your hip, or maybe a little bit lower. Big inhale here. Exhale, bring your knee to your chest, round your spine. Keep pushing the floor away. Inhale, reach that right heel back. Exhale, bring the knee over towards the left elbow. So twist from your navel. Inhale, extend the right leg back. Exhale, bring the right knee towards the right elbow. Set it down 
and pick up your right foot, step it onto the outside of your mat. We're gonna to come to side plank. So bring the inside edge of your left foot down to the floor. If I pick this up, you'll see that my toes are curled on the floor, giving me some support. Bring your right hand down just underneath your right shoulder and then send your left hand up to the sky. So the inside edge of your left foot is your support. Keep reaching through that heel towards the back of your mat. And then your hand is super spread apart. Even the knuckles are anchoring down into the floor. And then gaze wherever feels supportive for you. It could be down to the side or up. Lift your left side body up to the sky and draw your tailbone down towards your heel. So you're not arching your back a lot here. The booty is sticking forward. Big inhale and exhale, open up into a back bend. So just let that left side body open up your chest space up to the sky a little bit. You can let your head recline or if that feels like too much, draw it in towards your chest. Big inhale. Exhale, slowly let your left hand come to the floor. Step back to plank pose. Big inhale. Then exhale, downward facing dog. We'll do that on the other side. Exhale, bring the knees down to the floor, tabletop pose. Send that left foot back, so as if you're in half plank. Inhale, lift the heel up. Exhale, knee to chest, round the spine. Inhale, open up. Exhale, knee over to the right, twist from the navel. Inhale, open up. And then exhale, bring that knee over towards the left elbow. Setting your knee down, letting your left foot come off the mat and then rolling into your version of side plank. So right foot to the floor, right hand up to the sky. So you're not letting your weight dump into that left hand. Imagine you're trying to lift everything on the right side of your body up to the sky so that there's barely any weight in your left hand. Big inhale, open up through your chest. Exhale, take that back bend, the whole right side of your body comes back. Lift your heart up, keep pushing the hips forward, one more breath. Then exhale, slowly make your way to plank pose. And then to downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze in between the hands. Exhale, make your way up to the top and take Malasana pose, heels in, toes out. Again, sway side to side. Lift your heart up into your thumbs. And we're almost going to wind down now. One more big breath here. And exhale, hands to the floor. Come back to downward facing dog. Inhale. You can choose to bring the knees down for this part, sending that right heel up to the sky. So you're either in tabletop pose, lifting the right heel back, or you're in downward facing dog. Send that right heel up to the sky, big inhale. Exhale, let the knee come to the chest. Inhale, three-legged dog or three-legged tabletop pose. Exhale, knee over to the right elbow. Inhale, send that right heel back up. Exhale, knee over to the left elbow. And come to falling star pose. Send that right foot off to the side. Bring your weight into that right hand. Roll onto the inside edge of your left foot and left hand up to the sky. Keep those hips lifting up. One more big breath. And exhale, sink into your seat. So now you're facing probably the back of your mat. Let your feet come nice and wide. Let's get into a little feel good stretch with straddle fold. Your toes are nice and flexed. Maybe help your thighs kind of come through. It doesn't matter whether your toes are in or out, just kind of depends on your anatomy. This stretch is more for the legs. So you can either let the fingertips come forward if you do want to let the spine get in it, or you can stay relatively high. So see, no pun intended. So see what works out for you. This is gonna be a relatively passive shape, so we've had a lot of effort, so see if you can switch that mindset up a little bit and just let go.
turning your awareness inwards, softening any parts of the body that do not need to be working. And inhale, slowly come up if you're in a fold. Bend your right knee in. Let the sole of your right foot rest on the inside of your left thigh. And kind of turn your torso over to that left leg. Inhale, reach your hands up to the sky. Find length in your waist. And exhale, slowly lower down. You can hold on to your ankles, your knee, your shin, whatever that hand's in reach. If you also have your strap, you can use it to close the gap between your hands and your toes. So find wherever feels good. Use your breath to evolve this shape. So inhale, kind of lift out of the shape a little bit, find some forward movement. Then exhale, bring your heart a little bit closer to your thigh. Inhale for length. Exhale for depth. Until you feel like you can't move anymore, then just commit to the shape. The goal here is not to pull yourself into the deepest shape ever. And inhale, slowly come up one bone at a time. The hands can help. And you're just gonna turn over to the direction of your bent knee, so over to the right. Plant your hands behind you and just step back to downward facing dog. So from downward facing dog or tabletop pose, inhale, left heel lifts up. Exhale, knee to chest, really round through the spine. Inhale, left heel lifts. Exhale, knee towards the left elbow, shift forward if you're in down dog. Inhale, left heel lifts. Exhale, knee over towards the right elbow. Falling star pose. Let that left foot come forward, roll onto the inside edge of your right foot as you transfer that weight to the left hand. Really push the floor away. Big inhale, lift up through the right side body. And exhale, sink your hips down to the floor. Let's take that fold again. Feet come out to a nice little V. Tilt your pelvis forward, it might also be nice to sit on top of a uh, blanket so that the pelvis has a nice little tilt. And then inhale, walk the hands up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward as much as you want to or as little as you want to. Same principle works here. If you're coming down into a fold, inhale, find that length. Then exhale for some of that depth. The knees remain slightly bent. Any kind of fold, whether you're sitting or standing, you never want to lock out the knees, so be gentle there. You still get the same stretch in your legs. slowly creep the fingertips in lift your heart this time bend your left knee let the right with the left foot come on the inside of your right thigh inhale sweep the hands up kind of turn your chest over to the right leg and exhale lower it down again you can use the strap so that you can get a grip of your feet otherwise just hold on to wherever is in reach for you a little bend in your right knee Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. And the movement might not feel like much for you, but you're feeling in space that your breath is allowing you to find. Find some softness in the shoulders, in the jaw.
You inhale, roll up one burn at a time. Turn over to the direction of your bent knee to the left and slowly make your way back to three legged dog. And then release that left foot down to the floor, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze up in between the hands. And then exhale, walk, step or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bending the knees until you find a nice little seat all the way on the floor. And then come down onto your back, but take your time. Bent knees, soles of the feet firm on the floor, reach your hands forward, draw your navel to your spine, and then just roll all the way down to the floor. Like I said, don't feel uh, scared about feeling uncomfortable. We always have to go through it, so why not breathe through it? Soften into it, one more big breath. And exhale, slowly lower down, bring your knees to your chest. And we'll end with a nice little twist. Let both of your knees drop over to the right. Reach your hands out to the sides like a capital T. And you can gaze wherever is supportive. You can gaze up at the sky, over to the left, wherever feels good. Just massaging your abdominal muscles with your deep breath. Resetting the spine. chin back to center if it's not there already slowly bring the knees back over two and then let both of your knees drop to the left if this was a little bit tight you can scoot your hips a little bit further to the right too. make sure that right shoulder is on the floor and maybe gaze over to your right fingertips or up at the sky cooling shape after all the work we've been doing in the hips and the legs. And inhale, bring the chin back to center, knees back to center. If there's any other shapes that your body's craving, you can do them here. It doesn't have to be a yoga pose. If you feel like taking another hit of flour before you settle down, go ahead. Otherwise, bring the knees close to the chest. Maybe the forehead comes to the knees too. Big inhale. Then exhale slowly. Float the arms and legs down to a Savasana pose. Letting the ankles take up their own little space on the mat. The palms hang out, facing up, away from the body. your breath return to normal. Let the back of the skull get heavy, the shoulders relax, and your eyes close. Just giving yourself the gift of your presence here. without needing to change anything about what's going on.
feel free to hang out in this savasana pose for as long as you need. And when you do come out, take your time, keeping the energy you just cultivated here. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.